Hi, welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores, and today I've got quite a bit of a haul. It's from my last video when we went to the charity shops. You know, just charity shopping. That's what I do. So let me start. I'm going to try to start in order of the video. So of the how the video plays. So let's go. Let's, let's start with this. Okay, so the first thing I got was uh, this here. This lovely vase. It's like a pretty blue. It's not like. It is a pretty blue with all kinds of different color. Like an art glass vase, if you will. And I got this at the hangar. So it was $2.95. I wasn't mad about it all day long. I like this face. I just think it's very pretty. The colors in it are just so, I don't know, 70s? It looks 70s to me. I loved it. So there's no maker's mark on it. It's got a smooth poncel mark. So there you go. So that was, a, that was a good find. I was really happy to find that. And I'm not going to go into uh, the, I didn't think I was going to find anything that day because some of the prices were a little spendy. I'm not going to lie. But I did find some stuff. So the next thing I found was, oh, where's my, did I bring my jewelry in? Oh, I have to go get that. Oh, no, there it is. Well, no. Okay. So hang on. Just upsets me talking to myself. So the next thing I got was this cake plate. Look at that. You can put your little uh, shortbread fingers on it, your little Mr. Kipling's little cakes. Mm -hmm. You can do that. It's got the stand and it says Hughes Longport made in England. I'll see, let's see if you can see that there. Um, I liked it. I do okay with the cake plates and it's just such a little sweet scene and it's got, there's some wear on the gold, but how cute is that for your little yellow sandwiches? So that was $2.95. So I got that. And then I got um, this. This was amazing. There was no price on this when I saw it. So it came this really cool box. with this kind of graphics on it. There was, I looked and looked. I was like, what? there's no price on it. So I'll show you what was inside though. This is what was inside. This is a Mara with an embroidered back on it. So that's the back and that's the front. See my uh, floor, my kitchen. Uh, and it says London made in England or Condon. I think it says London. I don't know. But anyway, so it still has a little sticker on it and it's got the brush. Which I have to say, they don't think that's ever been used. Not that you would use it now. But the whole set is so cool. It's got the embroidering on the back of that. And it's got a matching comb. Which, again, looks very clean to me. I know that's pretty gross, but uh, I don't think it's ever been used. I mean, it's just, it all matches. It's all the same so good it came all in its box original box and i was just like dang really so i took it up to because there's no price on it. i said man how much is this gonna be god you know this is a it's got a little satin inlay uh and there's no maker's mark on the box and so i took it up when i went to check it out i took it up to the counter and i was like you know just don't price on it and she looked everywhere she said no no, it doesn't have a price on it. And she said, $3.95? And I was like, oh, yes, okay, sure. <laughs> I wasn't going to argue with her. Oh, $3.95? I'm walking out the door with it. So I got that for $3.95. All those will be on my Etsy shop. And I did get some jewelry. So if you hang on a minute, I left in the other room. I'll go get it. So here's the jewelry I got. I mean, I got oh, I, forgot. I got something else. I'll show you that in a minute. So I got quite a few brooches from there that day. Um, I had gone after work about four o'clock when I get off work. And I wasn't expecting to find much because, you know, by four o'clock, everybody's done picked through all the good stuff. So so I'll just show you a few. I got quite a few of them. So I'll just show you a few. This one I really liked a lot. And um, it's this piece. It's got the red glass like rhinestones. And it's it looks older to me just based on the way it's made i mean i, I just i can't y'all if i find jewelry or brooches i don't in this vintage i'm gonna pick it up all day every day so i got that 
Then I got this one here, which is like a little silver leaf with a faux pearls and a little rhinestone. Oh, just, and these were all a dollar. I'm sorry, a, no, they were a dollar. They were a pound. Um, I, I just, here's another one. This looks newer to me, but still, it's a brooch. Don't care. Uh, it looks like about the 80s. And I got like a little, oh, this one. Oh, this little mushroom one. That looks newer to me for sure. Probably the 90s. Look at that. It's like a little mushroom. All the rhinestones are out. So I got quite, I got like uh, this little black flower. This is the older one. I've seen these before with the little black on it. I got, uh, I got a bicycle. Look, y'all got a bicycle. And I also got this musical note, which I, for whatever reason, when I do get musical note brooches, they sell quick. So I don't know why people, you know, maybe they're getting it for the music teacher or people just like music, but I got that. So is that a treble clef? No, I don't know what that's called. If you know what it's called, tell me in the comments. So I got all those brooches. They were a dollar, a pound. <laughs> they were a pound, a pound. I live in England. They're a pound each. Um, so that's, I got that from the hanger. And then I got this other one thing I forgot to show you guys. I got this little jelly mold. Look at that. And she cute with chairs on it. Came in its box. And it's probably from the 70s. There's no, um, it's made in China, so it's not particularly old, but there's no uh, barcode on it anywhere. So that's probably from the 70s. All in good shape. It even came with a little bit of paper in it to protect it. So that'd be a nice little, um, to hang on your wall in your kitchen. I like it. I don't, I don't think I have any room in my kitchen. So it's going to be for up for sale in my Etsy shop. So those are the things I got at the hanger. Because I'm trying to put this back in the box. All right. Okay. All right. Hang on. So that's what I got at the hanger. So then the next day, I said to myself, I'm not going to go thrifting today. I got stuff to do. Well, I had to go to the pharmacy, which for Dave, which is very close to two charity shops so i thought it'd be rude not to so i went ahead and went in so when i got this first one it's called bernardo's so i went to this one and they had all these little cats they had these little cats um they had these two cats i'll show you one so these were two for a pound so you get two or was it four for a pound i think you got four little items for a pound so i got those two cats and then i got <clears throat> This little cat, this actually says Limoges on the back. And I, I mean, it's ever so tiny. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Limoges France on the back. And this, I don't even know, this wasn't a cat. This is like a little deer or, yeah. But look how tiny. Look at that. Ooh, it's so cute. This will probably end up in a mystery box of some description. Just because it's in this in the Limoges cat. They'll probably end up in mystery boxes. These two I will probably sell together because they look similar. They're both little sleeping cats. And y'all, I ain't gonna pass up no kitty cat. Y'all know I'm a kitty cat fan. So I got those for a pound. And then I got, what else did I get? This. And this is called Port Marion Pottery. And it's this nice little strawberry canister with a little lid. Sides all clean. I mean, look how cute that is. So I got that there. I don't know how much I spent on that. There's no price on it. I can't remember. So I got that and that from that charity shop uh, from Bernardo's. And then I went to, um, oh, I think I got this there as well. This little vintage bracelet. This little, like, it's like a little tennis bracelet. I got that there. So just, it's rhinestones. It's not, I'll put that in a box. So I th think that's all I got from that shop. I, yeah, that's all I got from there. Then I went a couple of doors down. There's another charity shop. It's like the Ashgate Hospice. So I went there and I got, I got, oh, this, so cute. This little egg separator. It even says it, egg separator. And I've had these in my Etsy shop before, and they sell. They're really cute, and people still use them. It's not, you know, they still put the, break the egg, it separates the egg out. That is a really fun find there. So I got that. Uh, Ashgate Hospice was this. 
Because look who it said. It's even got the tag still on it. It says classic stainless chromium plate. A Mayel product made in England. And it's got the salt, pepper, a little mustard jar with the spoon. Now, y'all know me a spoon. That spoon alone worth 20 quid. I'm taking that spoon. Um, so I got this there. I think I paid $4.50 for it, which is good because, I mean, it's just so, it's got the little leaf. It's got, yeah, I think I paid up for this, but man, how cool is this? Oh, just so, I mean, this is so, oof. So I got that from, so then we went there. Well, first we went, there's a charity shop actually right by her house. And, uh, I mean, literally doors down from her house. So we went there and I got this spoon I, with the spoon it was like this so i don't know if they go together but they go together now and it's probably like a little sugar pot or it's like a big spoon for sugar or maybe a relish who knows but it's um depression glass and this spoon was in it and for two pound i thought i'll get it so then i'll sell that together on my Etsy shop i just thought that was really cute I don't know what you put in there. Maybe it is for relish or maybe chutney or whatever you want to put in there with your spoon. If you like a lot of sugar, that spoon is perfect for you. So I got that at the ha at the charity shop by Jessica's house. Then we went on to Riddings and we got a couple of things there. The first thing I got there was, well, it's not the first thing, but I'll show you this. Look at this beautiful compote bowl candy dish situation. Look at that. And it was $2.50. Now, some days I'll say, I'm not paying $250 for something. That's a lot. But the other days it's like, $250? Bargain. I have it. <laughs> Today was a day where $250 was a bargain and I bought it. So I got this. Such a pretty, oh, that pretty blue glass. It's like an Empoli uh, style. It's got the clear stem and the base is blue. There's no maker's mark on it. I mean, child. I couldn't pass that up. So then I got, oh, I got, I don't know why, but I thought these were fun. These little bit of playing cards. I got them. Um, so that again, that's, that's like something small that'll go in a mystery box. So I like that. So I got that. Then I got, sorry, I haven't unwrapped this since I bought it. So you're going to have to hear the paper. So then I got this little powder dish. Oh, it's like a pink depression glass. Look at that. This was two dollars. Pound. It was two pound. Seriously. I want to go home. I want to go visit home. So I keep thinking of dollars. <laughs> so sorry. Two pounds. And uh, no chips or cracks on it anywhere. It's such good condition. And there's no maker's mark on it. And there's a price tag I paid for it. But there's no maker's mark on it. I mean, I just, I love a powder jar. If I had the room, I would have a vanity table with powder jar on it. Powder jars, even. Would they have powder? Yeah, probably. So the next thing I got was this little, it's like a demi toss cup. And I'll show you. Uh, where's the cup? Where's the cup? Yeah. So I got this. And I did all of this, a single one. And I just thought it was cute. And look at that. It's. Uh, Wade. So there's no, there's no design on it. It's just gold. There's a little bit of wear on the gold on the plate. I, child, I love it. If you put like a little poinsettia, like a little fake poinsettia plant in it for Christmas, child, like a red, oof, that'd be pretty. So I, that'll be, again, it'll be my Etsy shop. It's just the single one, one pound 50. I was like, yes, please. Today for Dolo Digs, well, we're going to talk about a channel that I really, really enjoy. These two crack me up. I, a lot of time, now most of the time I can't watch their live sales live because it's past bedtime on a Sunday night and I still do have to work Monday through Wednesday. <laughs> so I do catch a live sales on replay. I know, is that a thing? I enjoy it. And it's not, it, and it is about what they're selling because they get some really cool stuff, but it's also the banter they have between them. And that is Sarah and Sam from Thrift U. Mother and daughter team, which you gotta like, you gotta love that. And they have uh, some of the funniest live sales. They do videos, 
They do, uh, Sam does a lot of hauls. When she'll go and buy something, she'll actually haul it in her car, which is, you know, hey, use what you got. You got hauling your car, hauling your car, uh, which are also very good and funny. Um, you can go, there's a video where you go into Sarah's basement at her house. Oh my God, the stuff she's got. Man, I I would just look, I'd be like, can I just live in your basement, ma'am, please? Uh, you know, I'll even buy my own food. <laughs> Just, just kind of just live around all this vintage greatness, please. I will have uh, their channel come across here. Their videos will come across here. And I will also have a link to their channel in my description. So I suggest if you want a good time and a fun time, you go and subscribe to Sarah and Sam at Thrift You. And that's all today. That's all we're going to do today. I, you know what? I don't think I have a favorite thing today. I like it all. I really, I do like it all. Oh, I'm, this pleases me. Powder jars, makeup, anything vintage, makeup-y, I love. All right, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please remember to subscribe, like. Let me know in the comments which one your favorite thing is. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.